So, hello. I'm going to start now. Uh, this is my second and last talk here. Uh, I hope it will be okay. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about UFFI. So first, uh, who was not here the day before yesterday? <laughs> okay, I'm that guy. <laughs> okay. Which one? I, uh, <laughs> the younger version of me, <laughs> or the cooler one, uh, whatever you want. Uh, I just realized that it's not my name there. <laughs> I, I didn't put my name there, so my name is Esteban Lorenzano, and I do all of that. Most important here, I'm, I'm here as part of the Faro team. I'm Faro architect since 2012, and all the rest doesn't matter, in fact, right now. So, uh, first, why FFI? And uh, necessary clarification, FFI means uh, foreign function interface. Why we want to have a a good framework for doing FFI, uh, or why we even need it. And this is a relevant question in small talk world because, uh, because of this phrase. Dan Ingalls, which I think you know, says an operating system is a collection of things that do not fit inside a language and there should not be one. Which is an inspiring fr uh, phrase, but uh, it ha has generated uh, generated a lot of problems in my opinion. Why? Uh, because I think you can uh, uh, you can interpret this phrase uh, like uh, in the way that we need to do everything by ourselves and then we suddenly we end in the not invented here syndrome which is a very 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 common syndrome in the small talk community. We have a tendency of doing everything once and again and again. But you know, and Dan Ingalls is, is right. That should be like that. But another very important person says this. Say this, this thing. So yes, there should not be, but in fact, we have operating systems and we have a lot of things outside the small talk world. And in fact, since we are not such a big community, a lot of uh, things that we cannot have immediately uh, are available outside our small world. So, yes, we need uh, a good framework of foreign function interface because we need to communicate with things that happen external. But first, before, before changing this. Uh, what I wanted to say? Fuck. I, f I forgot the thread. I lost the thread. Uh, yeah. In fact, in Faro, I had to remember slide by slide in my mind because I get lost. But okay. In Faro, uh, we, ha we are ambitious and we actually want to compete with uh, other languages that are around. We want to compete with Python and we want to compete with Ruby. We want to enlarge the small talk world by competing in, that, in the areas that uh, uh, those languages excel. And in particular Python is designed to uh, connect with C in a very smooth and fast way. And we want to, and we want to have the same. We want to have it better than that. So we are doing steps, small, small steps that will eventually arrive to something that we believe we, uh, will actually beat those languages in performance for, for this. So this is, uh, this is what we want to do. So, but first a little bit of history. FFI in Faro, Faro as a fork of a squeak has a long history of FFI, but because of what I just said, uh, the not invented here syndrome, FFI was never an important issue uh, for, for all the squeak or all the small talks, not just squeak. 
And then, yes, there was a, an FFI plugin originally, but it was not very good. And then someone, uh, Elliot, made, uh, Elliot Miranda, made uh, Alien FFI because uh, there were limitations. And then Igor made Native Boost. I'm going to talk a little bit about the tree and why we need a new one <laughs> of this, <laughs> a fourth. So this was the FFI plugin. The FFI plugin required for you to define your methods like this, which is pragma-like, but it's not valid pragma syntax. So you needed to modify the compiler uh, to actually understand that. And it was, uh, it was a task done by the compiler, uh, which means that uh, you could not extend very easily that uh, language. Uh, it was accepting basic C types and basic structures of C, of, of C sorry, uh, but uh, not the complex constructions that we have these days. Uh, there was no callback in implementation, which means that you execute and you, uh, you execute a function and you didn't have a way of having back. Uh, for example, you cannot call the QSort function, which is the basic example that we have, that you pass a, a, you, you pass a pointer to a function, and he calls you to, to do the actual sort. Uh, and as you can see there, it's not very easy to understand. There is another problem which is not portable. So if you have a version for uh, Linux and Mac uses CDEC, uh, CDEC and Windows uses, uses WinAPI, and then you need a strategy and change to, uh, for each one because you cannot have it both in the same method. Uh, it was not working for 64 bits, but then it was an update, so that, that's not the problem. But portability between platforms was a serious problem here too. And then, basically, to fix the callbacks problem, Elliot implemented this, uh, this new uh, plugin, but he incorporated uh, several ideas. The idea at the, at the moment it was uh, playing with the idea of having an object per method, so you define a, an object, you get an object which is an alien that uh, does a lookup of the symbol, uh, and then you, with that object, you execute the calls. And as you can see, it's not very clear. Even like that, even that, it's not very easy to understand what is happening there, and uh, it's very low low level. Uh, but it ha it has it had callbacks. Then, since we didn't like this thing that is not very easy to understand, Igor implemented native boost. And Native Boost was a uh, real fresher in that area because uh, the idea was that you should do a, a call as uh, approximate to C calls as possible. That you can do, uh, you can do the, all, all the uh, interaction in an in a objective way. So you can model, and you can extend, and you can use it inside your object-oriented design without uh, imposing any restriction. As you can see, so the idea, I'm going to explain in detail how it works, but the idea was that, uh, that you can, since it was built in runtime, that you can uh, transform the, the input and output uh, in different ways, so uh, it was uh, it was easy for you to, to understand. For example, in that in that example, you can see their self, which means that it's going to pass a Cairo canvas object directly without any any declaration or any argument, and that thing is very easy to understand because it resembles C the C call. And it's also uh, uh, easy to, to use to model. But then, if it was so good, why we remove it? 
because we drop it. Because it was based on something that is called SAMJIT, which is the idea of you have an assembly, you generate binary code from assembly, and then you install that code into the, the memory and you execute it. The real problem with that is that to make any modification of that, you need to, to know assembly. Which one here knows assembly? <laughs> eh, it's a good number. No, you don't count, Richie. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But it's complicated and it's really hard to maintain. And at the end, yes, you, you are programming in Faro, but you are doing assembly. So you have all the problems that doing assembly. Also, there are some set security concerns because you have to make the memory executable where you are going to put it. And then it was a problem. And well, then since it's SM assembly, you need to imp implement a different version of the FFI for each platform and for each architecture. So if you want 64 bits, a new assembly uh, implementation. And if you, if you want ARM, you have to do it again. And that and that's a nightmare from my point of view as architect. That's a no-go <laughs> in the system. And then we, deci we decided to remove it. Uh, and Natibus was a lot more complex than just FFI, but we were using it just for that, so, okay, we removed it. So, what's UFFI, which is what I'm going to talk, in fact, it's a front, it's a front end to express FFI. And it's a, it's a front end that it, it uses the FFI plugin and the Alien plugin, the backends that are in the VM, but with the Natibus philosophy. So, we keep, we keep the best of the two worlds. So, uh, and we, uh, we keep the philosophy of Natibus, which was we want to have most, most of, uh, most that we can in uh, small talk, so we can modify it, we can maintain it better. So, well, our goals were keep Natibus syntax, as, as, as I say, because it's cool. And uh, since it's clearer to understand that it enhances the self-documentation and blah, blah, blah. And an important step was be the base for future new implementation of, of, of FFI backends. Because, for example, Ronnie Salgado is implemented low code, uh, which is an, uh, a different approach and it works better in certain scenarios and works in others. So then you can plug them without, without changing anything. And uh, backward compatibility was a must because uh, we had already a lot of libraries made in native boost, for example, Latins and all of that, and I didn't want to have the job of changing everything. So, and there have some meta goals, which was to make it easy to do FFI to expand the universe of possible stuff. So make it easy for people to wrap libraries or to, to interact with the, with, with the outside world with a, uh, a, to interact with them with a, without much problems. So, so, as you see, uh, this is how it looks a call, a call out, in fact, in, uh, in UFFI. It's the same, uh, the same syntax as uh, Natibus with the difference of is FFI call and not MV call. And you do not receive a string uh, as module because you, re you receive a library object, or a, kind, a special kind of object, because then you can define different places, different find paths and that. It's, it's not fixed there. Since it's uh, solving runtime, this will this this can be used to uh, traverse of the LD library path or whatever you want to, to find the stuff. So how it does when it executes first time, it will transform the byte cost of this method into a call in, into a, a FFI call. Why? Because then. You don't have all the all the marshalling problem. You don't you don't have to repeat it. So you have a warm warm up time, and then it's as fast as all FFI, which is actually 
pretty fast, but it's still not as fast as it could, but okay. So it takes the method and it takes the declaration, which as you see here I changed char pointer for a string for just for showing up, but it's the same. Internally it's exactly the same, it will interpret that. And then <coughs> maps that to the FFI types, marshals the variable, matching by name, which is a problem if you do not have source, but we have a strategy to fix that. It's not a problem. And then takes the module from library for from the object that is there and applies that. So uh, that doesn't care. doesn't matter that. So for example, how this call will look in bytecodes. This is reasonably complicated because you pass the receiver self and you pass a complex object which is not a, a standard C type and using in the Pango library. So this is how it's transformed inside. For those who does not understand, then is, there is a literal, which is the actual FFI call, which is, if you see, it looks more, more, or, more or less like the one that I showed first, because at the end it's the same, the back end is, is the same. And then it push the receiver, push the temporal zero, which is the variable, uh, the layout, but since uh, since it's a complex object, it takes the handle, which is defined in, is defined, uh, there is some way of defining it. It takes the handle and put that into the parameters. So it does, the, it, it does all the transformation for you. You don't have to do it. Otherwise, it's you who has to do it. Uh, I want to show how cool is that. But then. So, and that. Right now, we can handle a lot of types. Uh, in fact, I think we are covering everything that we need. I, are, I added a couple more after I implemented first, so now it, it's correct. Basically, we support everything that supports C, and then we have some types where you can uh, define things. For example, uh, one very important is that didn't exist in native boost because Natibus had another approach, is the opaque object, which is something that you use, for example, for transforming the structures that you use just as a pointer, as opaque objects in C. Uh, so, if anybody has questions right now before I go to do a demo, it's now. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, but first you, and then you. Just, uh, I will show it because I didn't. Uh, you, 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 don't, you didn't miss it. I didn't put it there <laughs> because I just. But I will show it in the example. Yes. The code you showed looked like a method call with a, a literal vector having the, the declaration. Which one? This one? No, the, the source code for that. Yes. Right. It, it looks like you're just passing a literal vector. Yes. It's a literal. It's a. It's a literal array. Which you used to. Wait, it's a little. The, the, the next slide, the literal array isn't there anymore. No, because we transform, we we use a small talk so we can transform the methods. So <laughs> I take so the first time it executes this and the sec and it replaces the byte codes. So the second time it, it doesn't pass through here. So you don't need to do the again the, to do the parse because we need to parse that and generate the call and that that, that takes time. If you do it all the time, it's not efficient. So you do it once and never again. Bah. During the, se the session. What about the bugging? What about the bugging that method? You, uh, you will have uh, you will have the debugger. If it's a bug during the marshalling, you will have the debugger inside the marshalling. If you have a bug there, once the the FFI method is installed, you will crash because it's C. <laughs> you will go to C and then no, C. I mean, the first time you get there is the current, the, the, the right bytecode. Yes. You can debug the FFO. Yes, the you can debug it. And it changes the bytecode. So the next yes. time you get in that method, yes. what you are you going to debug? You, will, you can, no. 
the, the, you can have a, an error just the first time. No, no, you no, cannot no. have error during no, the Marshall no, time. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Ah, no, the second, no. You need, uh, you need to reset. No, the second. Well, you will, you will use the second time, you will use the Glamour uh, debugger and you will debug the byte codes. The byte codes. Okay. <laughs> but then it's like a primitive call. Okay. You cannot debug it properly. Is there a facility to get back to the, to the pre-warm up? Yes, you can reset the methods. Okay. You can say, no, let's start again. And you can no, always. You, you save the method again or just that? Uh, no, but that works too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can say FFI method registry reset, and then it will reset all methods, or you can go inside and reset just one. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, just save it. I do it. I do that all the time because I'm lazy. But <laughs> but that's not the best way. Okay, so just for a little demo, so you see the magic of this, which is the cool part. I have like 10 minutes more, not more, so I go, I'm going to do it fast. Uh, you are okay. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. If you use Faro, you know that at this moment, Faro 7, you know that at this moment we have a crisis with fonts because... Oh. Yeah. I'm, I feel like a rock star. Cool. A piano? No, I, I was saying, uh, if you use Faro 7, you will know that right now we have a crisis with fonts because there is a bug and it's crashing, especially in Windows. So we have, we are exploring alternatives. The biggest problem of that is that we rely on the free type plugin, which is, a, uh, which is in C and is very arcane and not the best one. Yes, I know. I, I just told it. <laughs> I have 10 minutes. Uh, plus 20 seconds that Hernan just stole from me. <laughs> now, uh, then we are exploring solar alternative. Basically, we want to remove the plugin and use FFI because then we can manage it better because we don't have to program in C. We just call the stuff. So, uh, and then I... I explore the possibility of, in fact, replacing FreeType for Pango, which uses FreeType as a backend, but renders a lot better, and it will give us a lot of more possibility. I'm just exploring the possibility. So, for the example, I, since I spent the last two days doing that, ah, no, last, the first day, uh, my idea was, okay, let's take this in C and try to implement that in a small talk. Basically, what this does is prepares a Cairo surface, and then it calls the, this draw text, which basically instantiates a font and uh, sets that and says something there. So, how we do it? First, first this is C because we already have Cairo in, in our image. So, we can just use it. So, I have the surface, I'm going to say, okay. Then, I need to uh, create a Pango layout. So if I, I check the documentation, then I'm going to speed. I'm just going to show you how you do this. If you check the documentation, uh, which is this, well, I was there, you know that you have this function, and it, it, uh, that you pass a, a, a context, and you get a that. It was this one, in fact. You have a pango, uh, you have a... Uh, it was not the layout, it's the context, 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 context. Well, it's the same. Basically, because now I feel the pressure because I do not have time. Okay, this one. This one, yeah. You create... This win with a canvas of Cairo. You create a layout of Pango. And that answers you an opaque object, which is a Pango layout. That we can took as, an, as a class, as an object. So what I do is I create, I already did, it, did this because I knew that Hernan will not let me talk. <laughs> 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 so, 
So, what? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, no, no, no. So, I declare an opaque object, which is my pangola shout, and I overwrite this. I create a new uh, uh, method, uh, method factory to create, which will call basically my uh, function, which is here. And here, I just say this. So, okay, I'm going to put this here. Pangola Joe, new canvas, which canvas? Then what I need is to pass, let me check the example, I need to set a text, which we are going to do. Here, layout, text, hello, small talks, because it's the, I'm, I'm not original. We put a text, and then we can see the implementation. Again, I already did it, but again, it's just, the, it's just a call which self, which is this object as a parameter, the text, and well, a constant that I can also pass because I know that there, if I post pass min minus one, he, he will do as str len, so <laughs> it will be okay. So I do this, and then I set the font, I create a new font, which I, I made in the same way as I already show. We, uh, we can use Helvetica and the size of 35, I don't know. And then we say layout uh, font description, it was. We said, again, font description is implemented as the same. I, I do not show it because I do not have a lot of time and I, at the end it's the same. <laughs> but <laughs> the coolness of the thing is that we, I'm actually modeling an object-oriented structure. I'm not just calling C functions. I'm creating a hierarchy of classes that actually do, do things. Well, one thing that I need to do, for example, because I do not want to free themselves as I do, I can say auto-release, and it will be free by itself, and the same. I took I took the uh, from Objective C the idea, but uh, the fact the fact is that you need to define the way. In, in general, opaque objects in C they provide you a new method and a destruct method. So uh, there is a way in in UF5 so you can do a new as I show and to declare okay and the destruct method will be this and then when you put auto release in garbage collection it will be, it will be freed correctly. Um, so then. Ah, there is some things of Cairo that we do not need. Then I can say uh, I need to tell the Lajou that it needs to update, be updated in the context of the canvas. This Lajou, and then I need to tell the canvas, okay, draw this Lajou. Oh, and okay. You know what is the problem with programming in C is that it, or it works or you crash. <laughs> and you <laughs> you can have several alternatives here uh, for avoid crashing your faro, like spawning a new faro and execute the, the thing there. As, uh, as we did with the monkey for validating tests or that. But I do not have that implemented here, so I will not do it. <laughs> so if it crashes, it crashes. What? Fork? Uh, you can spawn a different one, but no, uh, there, there is a primitive in the open source, uh, open Smalltalk VM that allows you to spawn a, a different. Uh, uh, a different version of the same. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, 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 
but it's not working very well. So what we have now is an image worker that, in fact, it executes the VM and executes another, and it, it uses fuel to communi communicate. So you can execute a block and get the uh, get the debugger in your image. It's a little bit slow, but for for uh, avoiding crashing your <laughs> for avoiding crashing your bah, of course if it crashes you will not get a debugger, but but it will crash another image, not this one. <laughs> no, but. So, uh, and you do this, and if it, everything is more or less okay, I will not crash, but, and I will have this text. Let's see, uh, I crash. So, since I know, since I knew that I could crash, I save, so this I, should, I do not have to, well, but then what I, what I, of course I already have it here. No, I have it not there. I have it here. So I need to know why. But okay. Anyway, I have it here. It's the same, but with a little bit of testing. Taste. Testing. Testing. And this should go, should do the thing. Nice. Yeah. I just forget to do some initialization. But yeah, I um, doesn't matter. Anyway, thing is, yes, we want to use this to replace as much plugins as possible and to also enhance the way that uh, Faro works. But also, we want to use this to create different uh, possibilities for the community. For example, right now I'm experimenting if I have just two minutes. I, I'm experimenting with yet my third implementation of an Objective-C bridge because I made one with the old FFI, I made one with Alien, and I made, I made one with Native Boost, and now I'm doing the unified FFI version, which it will allow you to interact with the system. If this does not crash, you can run an application, as you see, here. Uh, but I will not show much code, but okay. I put it here, this. That looks better. So I just execute this application, and that just create this, because it's a Pomodoro application that I'm doing as an example. And then I'm, ex I'm uh, interacting here with the, with the uh, Objective-C of uh, Mac in a better, and a lot better way than even Swift, that <laughs> because we have a dynamic, a, a, a dynamic environment. I could, I do not have time, but I could show how you can do. For example, you can do this, and here, this. In fact, this is a morph. Nice. <laughs> this is a morph, which is this. I can show you the LED morph. LED morph. New string. So you can see that it's the same. Digits five, open in window. And there is it, there it is. Without, no, but with, it's just because I'm working in, in some days because of the development version, but okay. And then you can start. And this starts to work as correct because it starts interacting, it starts refreshing the step in the morphs inside. And you can continue. Like you can change your preferences and I you crash because I'm I'm developing, but okay. <laughs> but you can do a, you can do anything you want. In fact, there is a in fact, it crashed because there is a problem with callbacks. That is, there is a bug, an ongoing bug with callbacks, and the problem is that uh, we need leave for callbacks, uh, last in, first out, callbacks, and then the problem with uh, callbacks work by uh, taking the first available process, but then the first available process can be the idle process, and if it takes that and you call another callback, when that callback is it crash, you, you run out of processes, and then you crash. But in fact, it's not crashing, it's 
smoothly going out. <laughs> because it, it puts, I do not have process going out. <laughs> so, uh, and it does all that kind of stuff. But I think it's a good way of actually uh, allowing native application, for example. Uh, just that. Thank you very much. So, any questions? Or we have time? One question. One question. Jan? You mentioned that we want to replace uh, a traditional script or power plugins with the F5 limitations. But, yeah, but not all. Most, uh, most okay, that we can. As, as I see. Yes. And my question is uh. doing this FFI has some very interesting problems, which from my point of view, I don't know how to overcome them. So my question is how would you do that? Mm. And those problems, there are many, but let me just mention two. Yes. Right? The first problem is that. The CAPI, what you usually get is a header file. There? Right? Sorry? It's never CAPI, but it's usually specified by the C header file. Yes. But, uh, I mean, not everything that looks like a function is a function. Yes. And even the C99 spec explicitly said that, uh, uh, I'm not sure, but maybe apps can be either macro or compiler intrinsic or a real function. Yes. With macros, you are screwed. I'm sorry. <laughs> the macros, we, we don't have a strategy right now. Uh, what I did is to update the Talk FFI uh, framework. I don't know if you see. It used libclang to generate the, the bindix through a header, and it generates the structures. Ah, I didn't show the structures, but I can show later. Uh, uh, you can generate that, but then you need to work on, on that. It's just a, a basics. Uh, I think we have time until he got. No. Uh, but, but, that's, but yes, it's a problem. It's not that we are inventing, it's not magic. It's just a small talk, which is almost magic. But, but we are still going. Thing is, once you do an FFI call, you are in C world. And then you have all the problems that you have in C. And we could uh, create something. In fact, I'm working in a libclang uh, stuff to embed C functions inside, but it's just very experimental at this moment. <laughs> yes. But it's very experimental. So, okay, I'll talk to you later. yeah. So, thank you very much.